Assalamualaikum and very good morning. My name is Muhammad Azwan bin Baharudin. So today we are going to discuss about conversation biology. So this is for our group part, soil pollution. Uh, this is the introduction of soil pollution. Soil pollution appears when the concentration of pollutants on the surface become so high that it harms and biodiversity and endangers health, particularly through food activities such as stock breeding and intensive farming use chemicals, pesticides and fertilizers that pollute the land just as happens with heavy metals and other natural and man-made chemical substance. Hi everyone, I am Sharil and I will be presenting about the types of soil pollution. Phenomena such as erosion, loss of organic carbon, increased salt content, compacting, acidification and chemical pollution, are the major causes of current soil degradation. Moreover, the Food Agriculture Organization distinguishes between two types of soil pollution. Specific pollution and accounted for by particular causes occurring in small areas for the reasons being which can be easily identified. Land pollution such as this is normally found in cities old factory sites, around roadways, illegal dumps, and sewage treatment stations. Widespread pollution, which covers the extensive areas and has several causes for the reasons being which are difficult to identify. Cases such as this involve the spreading of pollutants by air, ground, water system and seriously affect human health and the environment. Examples of soil contaminants There is a large variety of pollutants that could poison the soil. Examples for the most common and problematic soil pollutants are as such lead, mercury, arsenic, copper, zinc, nickel, and herbicide or insecticides. That is all for me. Thank you. Hello, my name is Noha Jorani Susrani and I'm going to talk to you the main causes of soil pollution that are mostly related to land pollution. First of all, industrial activity. Industrial activity has to be the biggest contributor. Whether it is from iron or coal, the byproducts are contaminated and they are not disposed of in a manner that cannot be considered safe. As a result, the industrial waste lingers in the soil surface for a long time and makes it unsuitable for use. This concludes that the more solid waste that will appear in this earth, the lower the quality the soil will have in the future. Next, agricultural activity. The utilization of chemicals has gone up tremendously since technology provided up with modern pesticides and fertilizers. They are full of chemicals they are not produced in nature, so they cannot be broken down naturally. As a result, they seep into the ground after they mix with water and slowly reduce the fertility of the soil. This can make the plants become less, less, uh, less fresh than it already has before by using organic fertilizer. That doesn't only my theory, but it is a it's more to a fact. Next up, waste disposal. Every human produces a certain amount of personal waste products by way of urine and feces. While much of it moves into the sewer system, there is also a large amount that is dumped directly into landfills in the form of diapers. Even the sewer system ends at the landfill, where the biological waste pollutes the, so the soil and water. This is because our body are full of toxins and chemicals which are now seeping into the land and causing pollution of soil. Last but not least, acid rain that is caused from when pollutants present in the air mixed up with the rain and fall back on the ground, the polluted water could dissolve away some of the essential nutrients found in soil and change the structure of the soil. 
might have changed the might have uh, increased the acidity of the soil as well. The pollutants such as the um from the the gases from factory, the gases from the car, it it actually more to relates to air pollution in this one because every gases will come up to the to the sky and and let the clouds absorb their ne- the a lot let's say the chemical reaction there you know so i guess that's all for now let's go to the next one hello everyone my name is nurin aswa binti muhammad safri so i will talk about consequences of soil pollution the first one is damage to health soil pollutants enter our body through the food chain causing illnesses to appear soil pollution can cause neuromuscular blockage as well as depression of the central nervous system, headache, nausea, fatigue, eye irritation, and skin rash. Soil does not need to be highly contaminated to be harmful to humans. Moreover, the spread of antibiotics in the environment increases the pathogen's resistance to these drugs. The second one is water and air pollution. Soil degradation affects the quality of air and water, particularly in developing countries. Soil degradation is the loss of the intrinsic physical, chemical, or biological qualities of soil. The third one is climate change. Climate change puts soils under pressure as carbon deposited in the soil. In the first decade of the 21st century, Soil degradation released between 3.6 and 4.4 billion tons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere which causes global warming and more volatile weather. The last one is economic development. Economic development damages soil and makes areas more prone to drop. Global economic losses caused by soil degradation are expected to exceed 10% of the world's annual gross domestic product GDP. So that's all from me. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is North Africa Betty Abdubari and I will be explaining the solution on how to reduce soil pollution. As we all know, soil degradation is a complex problem that requires governments, institutions, communities and individuals to take joint measures. The following are just some of the things we can do to improve its health. So, firstly, we can plant more trees. The effects of acid rain and floods can wipe out healthy soil in the absence of trees, which would otherwise help absorb and maintain these waters and the toxins that come along through reforestation efforts and planting new trees and vegetation in the areas that are at risk to erosion, soil pollution can be further interrupted. Next, we should use natural alternatives to toxic substances. The pervasive use of pesticides in agricultural production can weaken and destroy the community of microorganisms living in the soil, particularly when these chemicals are overused or misused. Current alternatives that promote sustainable agricultural practice include crop rotation, biological pest control, and polyculture. Lastly, we should purchase organic produce. Sustainable agricultural production practices have become vital for overturning the trend of soil degradation and safeguarding current and future global food security. If more people buy organic products, the demand for non-organic food will decline, which means less reason and opportunity to use those fertilizers and pesticides that contribute to land pollution.